Hello, my name's Mark, I'm from GK Tutor, and I'm here today with Practical Machinist to look at how we can calculate our cut times before we run the machine. So we're going to look at the calculations used to do that in both Imperial and Metric. Quite often when we're writing programs using either CAD CAM or G-Code, we are asked by our boss, how long will this job take to make? And it's important to work out whether there's profit in making this job and it allows our bosses to bid for a price when they're talking to the clients and customers about this product. So to work out cutting times, we would use this equation. And this is to work out per length of cut, by the way. So to work out the entire job, we would have to do this calculation multiple times for every cut. But quite often we are asked for this equation, so this is how it works. Now there's two different ways we can do this. We can do it in metric and imperial. And the only difference is the numbers that we give it. That's what converts it between metric or imperial. So for example, if we give it a cut length and a feed rate in metric, we will get the times for our metric part. And if we give those in imperial, we will get the times for our imperial part. So let's go over some of these calculations and do a few equations to see how this works. Okay, so in this first example, let's have a look at a metric one. So we're going to be calculating our time represented by the letter T. And this is in minutes. So our cut length is our L, the first part of our equation. So let's say we're cutting a 20 millimeter long cut. And we're using a feed rate of 200 millimeters per minute. So it's a simple case of doing this division sum here. So 20 divided by 200 would give us an answer of 0 0.1. Now that's in minutes. So it'd be 0 0.1 of a minute that it would take us to cut this length. Now if we wish to convert that into seconds, we would just times it by 60. So 0 0.1 times 60 would equal six seconds. So our first answer, the one this equation kicks out, this would give us it in minutes. And then we would just times it by 60 to give us an answer in seconds. Okay, let's have a look at an imperial one. So in this imperial example, we're gonna calculate our time again, and we're gonna say our cutting length is one inch this time. So we would have one inch divided by our feed rate. And if we give it a feed rate of 32 inches per minute, we would divide one by 32 and that would give us our answer. So if we do that division, it would give us an answer of 0 0.03. Now that is minutes, so it's 0 0.03 of a minute. And if we times that by 60 to give us it in seconds, we would get an answer of 1.8 seconds. So a really quick feed rate and a really quick time to cut. It would only take 1.8 seconds to machine one inch length at a feed rate of 32 inches per minute. So in our metric example this time, Let's take our cut length at 50 millimeters. And we're gonna give it a feed rate of 150. And this is in millimeters per minute. So we just have 50 divided by 150. And that will give us a result of 0.33 of a minute. So it's a third of a minute. So we would times that by 60 to convert that into seconds. So 0.33 times by 60 would equal 19.8 seconds. That's how long it would take us to cut 50 millimeters at a feed rate of 150 millimeters per minute. Let's take a look at one last imperial example. So our final imperial example, we're looking for the time represented by T, and we're gonna give it a cutting length this time of six inches. So we're cutting a six inch long length and we're using a feed rate of three inches per minute. So it's a nice easy equation. We can almost see what the answer is here without a calculator. So T would equal two minutes, exactly. Now if we wanted that in seconds again, we would just times the answer by 60 and that would give us 120 seconds, two minutes. So that's how we do cutting time equations and calculations. So that's how we convert our feed rate and cut length into time. So if you enjoyed this video, please pop over to my website at gcodetutor.com. On the website, I have lots more articles 
with videos such as this one and also lots of paid courses. Now those paid courses will teach you how to program G-code, CAD CAM and Machine Shop Maths. So the Machine Shop Maths course continues on from this lesson and we teach all the calculations needed to run a CNC machine and a manual machine in a machine shop. So pop over and check it out.